Alright here, welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. Today's team review is going to be Real Madrid. This is going to be the third time that I'm reviewing them this year. And this is going to be my first PS5 video for uh, the year. Uh, now, the previous two videos about Madrid were the 4-2-3-1. Uh, one of the absolute most solid formations in game. And the 4-3-2-1. Now, what I decided to review now uh, is going to be the 4-3-3, the attacking variation, really playing uh, a bit Real Madrid style, uh, we can say, because really they, they have like super fast players like Vini Jr., uh, Rodrigo, I mean, some quality players that we can really use uh, up front. Anyway, man, moving on here. Without wasting time to the goalkeeper, it's going to be Courtois, absolutely a beast of a goalkeeper, one of the best in the game that you can really use. He's going to be there protecting your goal. On the center back position is going to be Eder Militao, 88 rated. I mean, an incredible beast, uh, a prospect, let's say, to be the best center back in the game, maybe in the next FIFA, just an incredible player. But he will not play alongside with Alaba, which is going to be the, another beast. Uh, Antonio Rudiger, these two will form an incredible center back duo. Uh, very fast, very strong, I mean, very, very, very good, completed, I mean, all around uh, players. Danny Carvajal is going to be your right back. Not the best, I would say. I mean, uh, over the years, he has lost some pace and maybe some defending and physical, but he still got it. He still can play on that position, so he's still useful. Uh, on the left back position, is going to be the man himself, uh, the absolute best uh, left back on FIFA 23, Ferland. Mandy, just no competition, in my opinion, uh, on the left back position uh, for him. Just an incredible good uh, player. He's going to be there playing uh, on uh, the left back and really concluding this defense for Real Madrid. Now, moving on here to the beautiful part. We're going to switch all these three players. This is going to be the first time uh, ever that I'm reviewing Madrid that you are not going to see Modric uh, on the field. And that is simple. I will explain to you guys. Now, Valverde, it is a must no matter what you're going to do. He just has to be here to play on the CM position. Just look at the stats. Uh, one of the most completed players uh, on FIFA 23. So he just has to be there. Now, because this is a very attacking formation and Valverde is not the most defensive player ever, I'm going to send Modric out to really put Chouameni in because of the defensive abilities that he has. Luka Modric, it is an incredible player. On a 4-2-3-1, I would absolutely use him 4-3-3, 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. But on this specific 4-3-3 uh, attack information, I decided to go with Chouameni to really be a bit more careful uh, on the defensive uh, part. This is the only reason uh, Modric it is an absolute beast uh, of a player. Now here, uh, instead of Tony Cross, you can put two players. I decided to go with Eden Hazard uh, because I like the absolute way that he moves, but uh, putting even Asensio can be a, a, a super option, maybe a better option than Hazard, but I decided to go with Eden, man. I mean, for me, he still got it. He still moves a very nice, so uh, we have to put him there. Uh, the other uh, places, I mean, you can see Vinny Jr. is going to be here as a left wing. Super speedy win, uh, winning. Nothing you can really say about him. Kamavinga, a beast rising player, will go out, of course. We're going to put Rodrigo there. And uh, to conclude, the starting 11 is going to be uh, the main man of this team, Karim Benzema. I mean, absolute beast of a player. Taking a look here at the bench, I mean, not like super 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 players that you can really use david alaba can be an option even here on the cdm position i mean like on the on the right back position maybe you can use him here on the center back you can use modric uh as a super sub or even a sensor but other than that no other players uh, on tactics defensive style will be on balance with you gonna leave and 50 and we will drop depth at 50 as well we're gonna keep everything on balance build up play is going to be on balance and chance creation 
is going to be at direct passing with on 50 and players in the box at five bars corners and free kicks we're going to leave at two i always leave like that at rolls put whoever you want it does not really matter uh, you can always switch in game at the instructions get cut inside and get in behind for vinicius jr uh is gonna be just stay forward for karim benzema and cut inside and get in behind for uh rodrigo eden hazard will have the get in the box and the stay forward instruction stay back while attacking and cover santa for both chuameni and valverde and just stay back while attacking and stay back while attacking for both of your fullbacks. So uh, this is pretty much it. I'm going to leave you now with some highlights. And I uh, really hope you do enjoy it. Bye. See you in another video.